Hey gang, today we're going to do a DIY amplifier out of your Pixel 2, your Google Pixel 2. All right, let me go through the componentry that we need to do this. Now this is just for fun and to mess around with all the different pedals that are on here and to have a little bit of fun. All right, not necessarily recommending this as an amp you'd use on a gig. All right, here's what you're going to need for this one. We're going to have, obviously you need your Pixel 2. I've also got some installed software in here. The software I've installed is D-E-P-L-I-K-E, -E, Depth Like. All right, that is the software. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. You're going to need the USB to USB-C that your Google Pixel came with. If you lost it, you can order one of these guys off of Amazon. This is an Amazon Basics one I think I picked up for five bucks. There's a USB on this end and a USB-C connection on this end. All right, um, next you're going to need something to link up to your guitar. Here's the one that I'm using. I'm using the Behringer Guitar Link, maybe called the Guitar Link Plus, I can't remember. In any event, um, there are cheaper things to get, but I found that this is the most noise-free and it's pretty good. So obviously your guitar goes into there. You can even plug in headphones. We're going to plug in a speaker, but obviously you could just go directly into headphones. These are quarter inch on both of them. So if you don't have quarter inch headphones, for example, or a quarter inch speaker jack, like I'm going to show a three and a half millimeter speaker jack, you'll need an adapter on that as well. Uh, what's cool about this one is it does have a high and low output to uh, reduce noise if you want, and it has a volume control over here which is really super handy if you have headphones so you don't hurt your ears too much. It's a USB connection on this end, so that's why we need the USB adapter. Now you can go cheap on this one and get a sound card. These will run you about five bucks. The Behringer will probably run you about 40, um, 40 US dollars as of uh, May 31st, 2018. Uh, this is a USB on one side, and then on the other side, we've got two hooks uh, that are both three and a half millimeter, one that the guitar is going to go into and one that is going to go to the headphones. This is considerably much more noisy, so I don't recommend it. And there are also knockoffs for this. Uh, buyer beware. I haven't tried them. I don't know how good they are. I know that this one's pretty good. Low noise, very low latency. Uh, okay, we need a couple of other things. We need a speaker, obviously. You can use whatever speaker you want. And we'll need, uh, this is a three and a half millimeter cable. This is going to go into the speaker. That's what the input is. Again, if you have a different input, get a different cable. Uh, and one more thing, obviously, we need a guitar cable. That's going to go to our guitar. All right, so let's assemble all of this stuff. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the into the guitar link. I'm plugging my guitar into it, into the little guitar symbol. It's not rocket surgery here, folks. All right, next thing I'm gonna go into uh, my speaker here. Now this obviously is not the right thing, so I have to put my adapter in. I didn't tell you, you need one of these little three and a half to, uh, three and a half to quarter inch adapters. These are really super cheap and they're great to have because it just makes lots of things flexible. So I'm putting this in so I can hook it up to my speaker. So I'm going to put that into the into the uh, headphones. And if these were just headphones, I'd be done, but it's a speaker. So I'm going to plug into a speaker. It's kind of a little bit tangled there. Let me untangle it. There we go. Plug that into the speaker. Ooh, sounded like we got some noise there. All right. Now, i got to go this into, uh, I'm going to plug this into uh, USB-C into the <clears throat> power output or the charging panel and then this will connect up to my guitar link and aha the light came on so that's good that means I have ignition <laughs> all right now we're gonna fire up the software here just open up depth like and uh, ask you a little question do you want to allow the USB device click OK and you can hear there's a little bit of noise on it. What's kind of cool is you've got an amplifier. These amplifier uh, knobs work just like regular knobs. Uh, they're a little bit hard to do upside down, which is what I'm trying to do now. On the top, you've got all these different effects. Um, you've got all these different effects that you can put in. So this has a looper, it has a delay, it has overdrive, and it has a stock amp. You can change out the amp, you can add different effects. We'll try out a few different effects and just to show you how it sounds. 
but we're already in business. Let's turn off some effects so we can hear it clean. I'll turn off this delay. Not bad. All right, now let me turn off the overdrive so we can just hear it nice and clean. Pretty nice, I think, you know, not too noisy. Right? And now let's add in, I'll put the, uh, let me put in the delay back in and we'll take out some of that delay in the mix and maybe some of the feedback out and see if we can get a better sound out of it. I'm just playing around with this, with the knobs here. That's a little better. sound half bad uh, really um, and you know you can add in different effects uh, let me add in I don't know let's add in a dizzy lobster what the heck is that let's find out I'll take off the delay so we can hear what a dizzy lobster is and it is a oh it's a tremolo effect slow the speed down a little bit. It's a little too dizzy for me. Anyway, we're in business here and we can try all sorts of different effects. Um, and uh, and that's it. And have a, have a bit of a blast. All right. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you on down the road.